guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Summer, if you're new here, and today's video is going to be a full foil tutorial, so stay tuned. We're going to be going over how to get the most coverage in your application, how to lock in your foils to prevent slipping, and how to decide what level of developer you should start off with, so let's get started. So if my client is wanting a max coverage full foil, I like to start off with a five volume or 10 volume in the back. So if I start with a 10 volume for the back, my sides I will bump up to a 15 volume and then end with a 20 volume in my last section. Obviously you can adjust the level of developer depending on the lift you want, but just always check those foils to make sure the lightener is not sitting on longer than it needs to be. That's why I like starting so low because it allows for a little bit more wiggle room. Okay, so now that we have mixed our developers, it's time to move on to the importance of placement and how many foils to do to get the most coverage. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys how I like to apply for ample coverage. First, I just take my sections by separating the front from the back and I just clip those into place. Then I will just clip up two sections in the back to get the hair out of the way for my base section. I like to apply my back side hairline foil at that diagonal, so get it nice and low to the hairline. I like to take a softer weave here, place my foil in, and then fully saturate. Even an ample saturation is key to get the most amount of lift. So I'm just gonna lock my foil into place and I'm gonna touch more on how I fold my foils in just a bit. But now that I folded it into place, I'm gonna just move to the other side and do the same thing. So take that diagonal, light weave, thoroughly saturate and lock your foil into place and then move into the middle section, applying and folding the same way. I find it easier to end in the middle foil just because it makes for a little less cramping if you're moving from middle to the two sides, if that makes sense. So the thickness of your weave or slice, it's really just gonna depend on what your client is wanting. I'm just gonna be doing a mix of thicker and thinner weaves, no real rhyme or reason, but you deciding on that will be figured out in your consultation with your client. Now I wanna to touch on how I fold my foils. So after I've taken my weave, I grab my foil and I'm gonna fold the foil over the tail of my comb in the opposite direction of myself. Lift the hair, place that foil in, and then bring the hair back down and apply my lightener. After you've applied your lightener, you're just gonna fold it up twice. I like to then just slide the tail of my comb back under my fold and you can reset your foil almost. And then fold in your sides with your comb. To show you why I do that is after you've locked your foil in, if the foil happens to slip for whatever reason, you simply just unfold this first part here, take your comb and slide your foil back up and then close and lock into place. This foil method I find to be great for a lot of reasons, but if you're new, I definitely suggest always doing it this way until you get a little bit better with placement and securing your foil. So I'm just gonna go up to the next row now and do the same thing as I've done before. So as I continue going up the back of the head, I just move in a continuous rotation. I go side to side and then finish each section in the middle. The reason I prefer to do it this way over, let's say your old school method with just two sections going up the back is that you're getting maximum coverage and the flow is just more even. Just seeing both of these foils side by side, you see how doing three foil placements leaves less hair out in between your foils where the option of two sections, you have a lot of hair left out between each section as well as along the hairline. Like I said earlier, you wanna make sure you are fully saturating each foil. This is what's gonna get you the most coverage, even coverage, and maximum lift. When you don't evenly coat the hair, you're left with some pieces in your section lifting and others not lifting as much, which causes you to have to go back over and lighten the piece again, 
process for longer than needed or it can make your toning process more difficult than it has to be. Take the extra time to saturate, guys. It easily helps you avoid mistakes that just don't have to be made. So when I get to the top area of my back section, I sometimes will tend to move into more of a bricklay pattern. This area gets a little bit more narrow and it's a tighter fit to try to fit all three foils wide. So the bricklay method I find gets me great coverage for this area. If you're unfamiliar with bricklay, it sounds just like it is. So you'll place one foil in the middle, move to your next section, split it in half, do two foils, move up a foil in the middle on top of those two. Once you've made it through your back section, it's time to mix up more lightener and we're gonna bump up the developer this time. Because I mixed a five volume for the back, I'm gonna bump my developer on the sides to a 10. I like to mix my lightener to the direction suggested by the brand. Pravana is mixed one part lightener to three parts developer. I follow that and I've had no problems with swelling or lift. I also like to mix a new bowl every 30 to 40 minutes as your lightener does weaken the longer it's been sitting out before being applied. So keep that in mind when deciding on how much lightener you are mixing for each section. Moving to the sides, I will just lightly fold back any foils that are maybe in the way. And then as always, you're gonna start off at that hairline in a diagonal back. I typically like to do a lot of soft weaves at the side front hairline. I just feel like it makes for a little bit more natural look when pulled back and also for when growing out. I still always fold that foil forward on my comb, away from my body, fully saturate and lock it into place, adjusting later if you need to, which that's the beauty of foiling this way because it allows for control or any correction that you might need and makes it easier to correct it. Continue applying along your front side sections. A lot of times when I get to the top of the sides, instead of doing a diagonal back, I will switch to a horizontal position. I do this only when it starts getting really tight with all the foils, depending on how much hair your client has or how big or small their head is. Before I mix my top and final section, I like to just take a peek at the back foils just to see where they're processing to decide whether or not if I need to rinse some or not. So always check your back before moving on to your last section. Okay, so now that we have checked and pulled any foils that needed it, it's time to mix up for your last section. We're gonna continue to bump up that developer and I'm going to be using 20 volume now for her top. You can obviously go higher if you need to and feel your client's hair can withstand it, but just be careful with going too high as we don't want any extra stress then the hair will already be under um, just from traditional highlighting and especially because this is her top section. So sometimes I will place plastic caps on each of my sides just to keep the hair lifting kind of in the same time frame as the back. That's just personal preference, but this is how I do it when moving forward in my sectioning. I like to stick with just a classic mohawk section for my top and that should be lined up with wherever it is that your client parts their hair. That's just my personal preference. I typically like to start applying at that front hairline first and working my way back to the crown. Again, I like to pack in foils of a finer weave along the hairline and remember, saturate, saturate, saturate. You can obviously do thicker weaves or slices depending on the look your client is wanting. If that's the case, I like to do some foils still with a finer weave or slice and just apply the foils back to back. That way you're still getting that thicker look, but you're guaranteed for even lift and saturation if that makes sense. So remember to just keep evenly saturating as you apply to this last section, especially seeing that it's the top part of their hair where everyone's gonna see it. If you do have a little more hair in your foils than I'm doing right now, that's fine. Just make sure you saturate. Um, the thicker the hair in the foil, the harder it is for that liner to break through. So that's why saturation is key to really break through that and lift all evenly. So now that we have all the foils in the head, we're just gonna keep checking as we process, rinse any foils that might need it. I wanna show you guys as well the difference between the sections. So I did a five volume in the back, and this is the last foil I put on the top back section. You can see how much it's lifted. And now I wanna show you the last top side piece I applied using a 10 volume. 
You can see that they're almost the same level of lightness. This is why I start low and work my way up because most times your level of lift per section will even out by the time your client's ready to rinse. All right, so my client here is fully processed and she's ready to go rinse. So I'm going to rinse her, tone her and style her and then I'll show you guys the end result. I went ahead and mixed Redken Shades 8N with a little bit of 8V in it, processed for 10 minutes. Okay, so here we have our final result. We have done a heavy full foil application to get the most amount of coverage. I did three rows of foils in the back, two diagonal backs going along her sides and one row going up the middle. I did diagonal backs on her front sides and a traditional mohawk section along the top. Here you can see how much more coverage you get with applying three rows of foils over if you just do two. There is more of an evenness throughout the hair in the middle section and the hairline has much more coverage. The nice thing about this application method is it can still be used whether a client is wanting a ton of foils or they just want a soft look. You can either really do just thin weaves or just do less of foils if that makes sense. So hopefully this technique helps you guys out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. My key tips are always start off with a lower developer and work your way up. Try folding your foils the way that I showed you if you have problems with slippage and always keep checking those foils as you go to make sure that you are rinsing them in a timely manner. Again, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.